for your doctorate uh, award that has just been given to you. Thank you and God bless us all. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, there you have it. The CEO and founder of the Amartijan Kaba Foundation has just given an outline of what type of foundation it will be. And I'm very sure that this foundation will impact on the lives of ordinary people in this country. So that brings me to one key important component on the program. For a foundation to function, it must be fully capacitated and resourced. And this is the Sierra Union entity with international participation and ownership. I would want to invite Mrs. Sinki Robin Coker onto the podium to facilitate, to facilitate the pledge aspect of this event. But can I just crave your indulgence, given the fact that His Excellency to demonstrate his commitment He's just traveled, he's here. We are limiting the pledges only to five, only to five pledges. Please do contact the CEO and founder and the leadership and board members of the ATK Foundation to make all your pledges. This foundation needs your support. So I will now ask Mrs. Robin Coker to facilitate the five pledges. Your Excellencies, good evening. Please permit me to stand on existing protocols. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, it is my pleasure and honor to have the most interesting part of this evening, I think, to seek your pledges to support this honorable foundation that has just been launched or that will, will be launched. So I have a very limited time as has been um, advised by the chairman. So we now have all, we have a lot of information as to the great work this foundation is going to do. So to really create this enduring legacy that we are hoping that the Ahmed Tijan Kaba Foundation will be to Sierra Leone, we will need your financial support to get that going. But first, let me explain how this process is going to work. Now, we have pledge forms, which um, my assistants are going to bring to you. The pledge forms will have a space to have your name, to put your pledge amount, whether in cash, and we're taking all currencies, as well as in kind. Please don't forget to put your address your mobile telephone number and your email. Now, I will be assisted by three honorable gentlemen that also happen to be my father and my uncles. I will be assisted by Ambassador Dabo. I'll be assisted by Ambassador Samura and Dr. Shekusise. Please, gentlemen. Okay, so we have the first pledge already by Dr. Yumkela. Um, can we have the, the, the mic? Hello. My father was a mentor for the late Ahmed Tijankaba. He started his career as district commissioner for Cambia. He was a mentor for me and a mentor for my elder brother, Fode Yumkela, who is now Minister for Political Affairs. So on behalf of my mother, Haja Binta Yumkela, my elder brother, Fode Yumkela, Minister for Political Affairs, and the Yumkela family, we pledge 30 million. Well... 
Well, well, what can I say to that? Dr. Yumkela, thank you, thank you. Thank you for getting this started on a good note. I'm already energized. So, who is going to give us our second pledge? All right, I see my mother, Aja Demu Sise. Please, the microphone over here, please. Right here, in the second row. The late Alaji Ahmed Tijan Kaba was like a father to me. He always represented my father when I was a student in England. So I will pledge 10 million. Thank you. Thank you, Mommy, for that. Yes, so this is going on a very good note. We already have 40 million Leons to get this amazing foundation started to, to continue the enduring legacy of one of our favorite presidents. So please, where, who's going to give me the third pledge? All right, we have a gentleman in the center. Um, thank you very much. I'm Alfred Timbo. I happen to work with the late president when he conceived his dream for the setting up of social security. I volunteered to serve in that capacity. So collectively, we work together. So on my personal behalf, I will pledge five million leons. Thank you. Thank you, Minister Timbo. Thank you for that pledge. We're up to 45 million. We're up to 45 million. We have a gentleman on my right in the blue. My name is Herbert McLeod, and the late president was a mentor for many young Africans at the UNDP. And I, I owe the better part of my career to him. And I'm very pleased to pledge 10 million. Excellent. Thank you, Mr. McLeod. So now we're running at 55 million. I have only a few minutes to get this to at least 100 million, maybe 200 million. We have a gentleman here. Isaac Mustafa Kwanzaa from Putsloko. Yeah. On behalf of the Council of Primary Chief Putsloko Districts, pledge 15 million. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. I think we're up to 70 million now, if my arithmetic is still correct. All right. We have an, oh, we have Alaji. We have Minister Wuri here. Don't worry. Straight ahead to Minister second. Wuri. Well, I served Alaji Amati Jankaba from 1996 to 2007 as the longest serving minister Excellent. under His Excellency Alaji Ahmad Tijan Kaba, I pledge 20 million leo. All right. All right. So now we are at 90 million. 90 million. I, we're taking the last pledge. Oh, you got it. We are taking the last pledge. And there will be a way for people to pledge. We'll be handing out the pledge forms, and you'll have a way to pledge. Um, good evening, everyone. I am Omaru Napoleon Koruma, National Secretary General for the Israeli People's Party. The party, the late Ahmed Tijan Kaba, served faithfully until his retirement as President of the Republic of Sierra Leone. It was the SLPP that brought him out of retirement after the UN, made him president, and stood by him for the rest of his term of, president, of his presidency. So on behalf of the Sierra Leone People's Party, we are very much interested in this foundation of God being part of uh, the team with Madam Ike Kaba. The SLPP will pledge the sum of 50 million euros to the foundation. All right, all right. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's 140 million. Please, the platforms will be moving around. Please feel free to to find. Okay. All right. So, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, 
thank you very much for that good start to the foundation. The pledge forms are going around. Please take a form, fill it out, make your pledge, and we will contact you in due course to, to collect your pledges. Many thanks. Thank you very much. So, ladies and gentlemen, that is a very good start to the pledge. And please, we will encourage you to make the best use of the forms available. I've just been told by Mrs. Robin Coker that this one is for me. And she's already indicated six figures on the... So we now move on to the program with light performance from one of Sierra Leone's outstanding musicians and artists, Mr. Jimmy B. And he's coming on stage with his group to perform just one. Please do welcome, join me to welcome Jimmy B. and his group. To sign a ceasefire agreement, I, I, I would... May the peace of the Almighty God be upon us all. Your Excellency, retired Brigadier J Dr. Julius Madabio, Excellency, the former President of the Republic of Liberia, Madam Ellen Johnson Sirleaf, Honorable Vice President, Dr. Mohamed Jul Dejalo, former Vice President, Honorable Solomon Ekuma Beroa, Honorable Victor Bokorifo, Ambassador Abdullahi Jane. Chief Executive Officer, Mrs. I.J. Kaba, Honorable Chief Minister, Professor David J. Francis, Honorable Members of Cabinet, Honorable Members of Parliament, Members of the Diplomatic Corps, Colleagues in the Entertainment Industry, Members of the Press, Distinguished Ladies and Gentlemen. Let me start out by thanking you, Mrs. I.J. Kaba, and the Alhaji Dr. Ahmed Tijan Kaba Foundation for giving me the opportunity to speak at this event. I am grateful and humbled by this honor. The Bible says, Blessed are the peacemakers, for they shall inherit the earth. This year marks the fifth anniversary since the passing of our beloved former president, who I was blessed to have a very special father and son type of relationship with. Bakaba, as we all fondly call him, was a man of peace, a patriot and a democrat in every sense of the word. I saw in him a man who made friends with everyone, regardless of religious beliefs, regional or tribal background political affiliation, class, or social standing. What was important to him is that we were all Sierra Leoneans. I saw in Pakaba a successful man who cared less about material wealth or financial gains. Because as a man of faith, he knew the true meaning of success and wealth is not material or financial gains, but rather how one's action positively impacts the lives of others. And he knew that empty we came into this world, empty shall we return. In fact, he cared so less about money that he hated giving it away. He was a little bit tight-fisted. From time to time, when I would visit him at his Juba Hills residence after his presidency, he would shuffle the money in his pocket to take out 2,000 leons and call that to his former cook. Albert, can go buy soft drink for Jimmy B. That was Pakaba for you. Once he called me to the lodge after his state visit to China, Upon my arrival, he took out a red, shiny-looking cloth from a box and said, Look what I bring for you. I no say you go let come. In fact, not two I bring. One for you, one for Junior, his late son. Looking at the gift, I knew it wouldn't fit. And to be honest, it wasn't my style. But I was Pakaba for you. The last time Pakaba had a gift for me was when he went on a state visit to Germany. I remember talking to Pabara, who asked that I show up at the state lodge on his return. I figured the old man went to China and brought me a red shiny cloth. Naturally, from Germany, I was expecting a Francesco Smalto jacket or Yves Saint Laurent blazer. Well, after descending the helicopter and after the regular protocol with members of his government, he approached me and said, look what I bring for you. In his hands were about a dozen DW magazines with him on the front cover. I was like, um, oh, wow, thank you, daddy. 
Magazines were not the gift I was expecting. I was a bit disappointed, but that was because I didn't see the big picture. When I returned home, I opened one of the 12 magazines, and in the middle page was a beautiful, inspiring story of me and my Paradise Family musical group, talking about how we were making a difference in our war-torn country, preaching peace and uplifting the spirits of our people through music. It was then I saw the importance of those magazines. You see, what we take for granted meant a lot more to Pakaba, and now I truly miss those days. As members of the entertainment industry, Pakaba gave us the space to practice our craft. Despite the war and many challenges, he created a conducive environment for us to thrive. Being the most influential person in the music business then, with all the big name artists signed to my Paradise record label, and as close as I was to him, he never once asked that I discourage any artist from singing anti-government songs. He gave us all the freedom in the world to express ourselves through our craft, even when at times we would go overboard. Many from within his inner circle will complain or suggest he put a stop to the madness as they saw it. He would say, Bo, what's the no gonna bush? Who not left them make them sing? What a leader. One very important thing I want us all to remember is that Pakaba was truly a man of peace. In fact, an angel of peace. I strongly believe his mission, his purpose in life was to bring peace to our nation, especially in those dark days. It is because of his bravery to attain and maintain peace that yesterday we could complain and say, Mande angry o, and constructively criticize the president or former president, Koroma, and today complain and say, the Grand dry o, and constructively criticize the government of President Bio. We can all do this because there's peace. In the absence of peace, you don't have time to complain or criticize because you're busy dodging bullets. To Pakaba, we're all grateful. A lot of people might ask why I'm doing this, especially after the death of my 15-year-old son a week ago today. My answer is simple. Pakaba, Pakaba's crusade to bring about peace to our beloved Mama Salon is bigger than the pain, the hurt I feel deep inside. By him bringing peace to our country, he laid the foundation for former President Koroma to build roads and now for President Bio to give us free quality education and continue with other developmental programs. Before I leave this podium, I want to thank you, President Bio, for your unbelievable support. Thank you for accepting to launch the Dr. Ahmed Tijan Kaba Foundation, though I wish this could have happened much earlier. Thank you for appreciating his enormous contributions in bringing about peace to our nation. For those of us who genuinely love the old man, will forever be grateful. You have done this for him today, by God's grace, we'll do it for you tomorrow. May the good Lord Almighty guide and protect you always. May he continue to give you wisdom, knowledge, and understanding of all the issues that are to positively impact the lives of our people. God bless you. God bless us all. God bless the most beautiful country on planet Earth, Sierra Leone. Thank you. I was invited to Lome in Togo to sign a ceasefire agreement with the rebel leader for the Sanko. I did this amidst a lot of misgivings from the people of Sierra Leone, from the bitter experience they had had regarding for the Sanko's attitude to the Abidjan Peace Accord. They, on the one hand, preferred an all-out war against the rebels and an attainment of peace by their defeat in battle. I, on the other hand, could no longer stomach the killing of innocent Sierra Leoneans. Thus, I chose the path of dialogue again.
fight for seven nations You gave us rights, you gave us education Bakaba, your legacy go live on, it go live on I say you don't go away today But we still remember you every day Oh, Bakaba I say thank you for this freedom, for this freedom a true leader sacrifices life for his people Word. Never discriminated, treated everybody equal Word. Give power to the women, yeah. educated children Rule with honesty and make corruption illegal Father of peace, taught us how to achieve Word. Without you ending the war, we would probably be deceased Word. Your legacy, we forever leave We'll practice what you preach Fuck up, I'll tell you, thank you for the peace Word. Bless you all. So after that very impressive performance, recognizing the legacy of the late President Kaba. We've now arrived at the moment we've all been waiting for. That is the keynote address and the formal launch of the Ahmad Tijan Kaba Foundation by His Excellency, retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabu, formerly very much you can see them please your excellency madam salif 
former president of the Republic of our sister state, Liberia, Honorable Vice President, Honorable Vice Former Presidents, the Chief Minister, Madam Kaba, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, today is Father's Day. And I thought somebody was going to sing a song, at least for the fathers and not the women. <laughs> we are talking about justice here, but justice should begin here. <laughs> this is not fair. Better look next time. I, I don't know how to sing. Today, fellow Sierra Leoneans, we celebrate the life and legacy of a worthy citizen. Our former president, a man of great faith, courage, who remained passionate about fostering a culture of peace and building enduring institutions. A man whose humility, simplicity, and dedication to service and nation we forever live on. I'm grateful that I am the president here today, tasked with the singular honor of launching the Ahmad Tijan Kaba Foundation. <clears throat> with the objective of promoting peaceful coexistence cohesion, tolerance, respect, and justice. In his own words, he appealed to the best in us Sierra Leoneans. In his inaugural statement, he adjured Sierra Leoneans to ensure that all their actions as rulers and the rule be directed at sustaining the best interest of our country, Sierra Leone. He said, and I quote, It is my hope that our joint efforts and actions will be framed solely in the best interest of the people of Sierra Leone. I trust that in my duties of governing, you and I may count not only on the cooperation of elected members of all parties in our new parliament, but our press professional bodies, and other national institutions." End of quote. The, nation best, the nation's best interests are served not when elected members of parliament withdraw cooperation, or when professional bodies and parts of the press flaunt open partisanship, but in their informed, persistent, and constructive criticism as well as advice and encouragement. Every part of governance is important as the whole because our unity, our shared values, our shared sense of service to nation, in spite of our pluralities, make our nation better and stronger. As I said recently, let us embrace the ties that bind us as a nation not those things that blind us to, to our primary duty to nation. President Tijan Kaba cautioned against real danger that persons may take advantage of the tyranny of ignorance, superstition, disease, violence, and poverty. He called on everyone to start working immediately to make Sierra Leone what God intended her to be serene, secure, prosperous. It is this challenge and the vision of Sierra Leone that we must aspire towards with honesty and dedication, always. In addition to appealing to our sense of unconditional patriotism, President Ahmed Tijan Kaba was clear on the importance of building strong institutions as the key balusters 
of democracy and national development. He enjoined us thus, and I quote, From the evidence of history, strong and successful nations have always been, but on and nurtured by two fundamental prerequisites the strength and efficiency of their national institutions, and more significantly, the patriotism of their citizens. End of quote. Institutions are only as resilient as, they make, as we make them, and we must ensure that their integrity is not undermined by parochial interests of nepotism and naked partisanship. President Ahmad Jan Kaba maintained, and I quote again, I need not remind you that this is your government. Its institutions are your institutions, and its resources are your resources. They are yours to use, yours to enjoy, and yours to protect against abuse, wastage, or misappropriation. End of quote. As leaders and citizens, we have a duty to care, to manage the nation's resources well. We also have a duty of candor to admit when we get it all wrong, apologize, and make amends. That is good citizenship, and that is good leadership. President Ahmed Tijan Kaba sought to inspire by often highlighting legacies of good governance and efficiency. His legacy lives on in his preferred pathway of peaceful coexistence, tolerance, and respecting the rights of all citizens. The Human Rights Commission, the Political Parties Registration Commission, continue to protect citizens' rights and guarantee and, uh, participation in free democratic spaces. His legacy lives on in legal and social protection for children, women, the poor, the disabled, and pensioners. His legacy lives on in initiating the Anti-Corruption Act and insisting on accountability and transparency in public service. His legacy lives on in decentralization, local government, his legacy lives on in extensive civil service reform. His legacy lives on in judicial, legal, and security sector reforms. His legacy lives on in the institutional reforms from the first ever national youth policy to NASIT, NAXA, NRA, and more, as have been named here. His legacy lives on in the funding his government secured for the Kenima Kwaidu Road, the Makeni Matutuka Kwaidu Road, the Heaside Road, the Freetown Peninsula Road, and Freetown Longe Airport Road. President Ahmed Jankaba retired gracefully from politics at the end of his term of office, having led the country with diligence and integrity. His persistence demonstrated his great courage and faith. In his own words, and I quote, I moved Sierra Leone from the brink of state collapse and laid strong foundation for further nation building. The process has been torturous and bumpy. Together, we encountered bottlenecks, and some treacherous distractions, but success succeeded in getting Sierra Leone to where it is today. Peaceful, democratic, hopeful, better equipped to continue the struggle for stability and sustainable development. End of quote. As Maya Angelou reminds us, and, and I quote, history despite its wrenching pain, cannot be unlived. But if faced with courage, need not be lived again. End of quote. So too do we abide as a nation 
in President Ahmad Tijankaba's work, legacy, and his hope that in the not distant, too distant future, the nomenclature of post-conflict country will disappear entirely, and our country, Sierra Leone, will graduate and earn a place among the most peaceful, stable, and developed countries in the world. This is what brings us together today to immortalize his legacy and to enshrine his vision as guiding principles in transforming our nation. That is why we are here, ladies and gentlemen. With these few words, permit me now to formally launch the President Ahmad Tijan Kaba Foundation. Thank you for your attention. Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Retired Brigadier Dr. Julius Madabu, Distinguished ladies and gentlemen, His Excellency Dr. Julius Madabu has just concluded a very hectic schedule in Ghana. He arrived in a commercial flight straight to Bintimani with no rest. That is the true measure of a true statesman. That, that is the true measure of a committed leader. I'm sure you will agree with me that he deserves another round of applause. Now to the final item. That is vote of thanks by Justice A.G. Koroma, and that will be followed by the National Anthem, and the President and his entourage will take their leave, and during that time, I, can I just suggest that we just take our seat. I want to invite Justice A.G. Koroma to the podium to deliver his vote of thanks. Good evening, all. Um, I believe you must be wondering what um, I'm doing here because you know me. I, in fact, just arrived last night from The Hague to be present at this occasion. But I want to assure you, as I assured President Obasanjo this morning, that I'm indeed a Sahelioni. I was a legal practitioner in this country for many years and uh, served for two terms as Sierra Leone's ambassador to the United Nations. As you know, um, at one time, the biggest United Nations contingent, peacekeeping contingent, was in Sierra Leone. And uh, we were instrumental in the constitution of that peacekeeping force. And, but, 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 but not only that, um, some of us um, preferred to operate under the radar. I was not only ambassador of Sierra Leone to the United Nations, but I was also ambassador of Sierra Leone to the Europe, what is the European Union today. And I also served as Sierra Leone ambassador to the Organization of African Unity. So I want to assure you, I have a place in your gathering. Um, your Excellency, Brigadier retired Dr. Julius Madabio, your 
Excellency the Vice President, Dr. M. Dulce Jalo, former President Mrs. Sally Johnson, former Vice President including um, former Vice President, the two former Vice Presidents who are here, um, Chief Minister, I allow me to thank you very much to, for your presence at this auspicious occasion here this evening. My duty today is to express on behalf of the Kaba family to President Madabio, distinguished former heads of state or from um, Nigeria and Ghana, from Nigeria and Liberia, I'm sorry, for honoring us with, our pre with your presence on this auspicious occasion of launching the Ahmad Tijak Tijan Kabaz Foundation. The decision to launch the President Ahmad Tijak Tijan Kabaz Foundation for Peace and Democracy, and in the presence of our distinguished guests and fellow Sahelians, is for the recognition that our country, which used to be so great at the time I was growing up in, in, in this country and in making great strides in its effort to, for democratic dispensationalism. Yes, our country will rise again. It will once again become preeminent in the political, social, and economic development. President Kaba saw our country in its period of renaissance, and he, being the archetypal renaissance man that he was, accomplished a lot in his lifetime. He trained as an economist and achieved the pinnacle in the civil service of Sierra Leone, later qualified as a barrister of Lincoln's Inn, and then joined the United Nations and became an ambassador of the United Nations to various countries to support their economic and social development. But unlike that, under, that other Renaissance man, Michel, Michelangelo, President Kaba became head of state of the Republic of Sahelion. But in his previous professional life, and when ultimately he became president, President Kaba saw his role as that of improving. Auto. Auto. Yes, okay. I'm going to. As that of improving the human condition both at home and abroad. And he dedicated his entire life in this pursuit. I think reference has been made this afternoon to his commitment to peacemaking, to the alleviation of poverty, and to the promotion of democracy in Sierra Leone. I would like, on behalf of the family, to thank each and every one of you present here, in particular President Mada Bio, for your presence here this evening. And more importantly, or equally importantly, is to thank Mrs. I.J. Kaba for her indomitable, for her indomitable spirit in ensuring that we bring home the um, Tijan, Tijan Kaba Foundation. Allow me also to express my thanks to the planning committee. I don't have to name them individually. But I may mention some of them, Mr. Ambassador Bangura, Dr. Sheku Sise, Alaji Ahmed Tijansi, and to um, so many of the political parties that are present here that have been supportive of this foundation. Um, Dr. Yomkela has also been very instrumental in ensuring that the um, foundation does take proof. Without detaining you much longer, I want to thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for your presence here today, and to congratulate you on celebrating 
the champion of democracy, the peacemaker, and the man who saw his role as the alleviation of poverty in our country. I thank you all.